it's Steph and today I'm here with another video talking about makeup and the focus of this video is going to be pretty much just foundation. So foundation is something that has a lot to it. A lot of different types of foundations exist because it is something that covers your entire face and everyone's face is different obviously. Everyone's face falls into different skin types. You have oily skin, you have dry skin, and you have combination skin more or less and there are different types of foundations for all those different skin types and for different skin tones so it can get a little bit complicated so hopefully this video helps educate you a little bit on my understanding and knowledge of foundation and if any of it is wrong or if there's anything else that you can add to it feel free to let me know in the comments down below because I don't know everything but I have learned a fair amount of things so to start things off we will talk about powder foundation powder foundation typically comes in in a compact or some type of circular looking packaging that you can either flip the top open or you unscrew the top. Powder foundation has a couple different pros and a couple different cons obviously than working with a liquid foundation. Powder foundation tends to have more sheer coverage. When I'm talking about coverage, I'm talking about how well it makes your face one color pretty much. It kind of makes sense though because it is a powder so you're going to need multiple applications of the powder and it's a little more time consuming in that way versus working with a liquid foundation you just kind of put the liquid foundation foundation on your face because that one's a little more cream based your face absorbs it whereas the powder sits on top of your face and you can kind of imagine how through the principle of what they're made out of that powder foundation typically has less coverage powder foundation also settles a little bit more I've heard into the lines in your face and make them a little bit more noticeable but that is something that I believe doesn't always happen and a lot of it has to do with how you apply it on your face so there are some pitfalls in that but overall it is much more natural looking than liquid foundation because liquid foundation has the tendency to look cakey at time it also holds up much better in hotter weather because when you get all sweaty you have a powder that's sitting on your face instead of having a cream based foundation on your face the benefits of a liquid foundation on the other hand are that it typically does have better coverage so you just put it on your face once and it's pretty good. It does not take as long as a powder foundation to put on your face. If you have drier skin, this obviously is not going to make it any drier. It's a lot easier to have a more even coverage with a liquid foundation than a powder foundation. And then something important to take into consideration for, I believe, both of them, I'm more familiar with liquid foundation, is that the foundations have to oxidize with your skin as well. Makeup, when you apply it to your face, because your face is warm and the container that it's in is cold, will react differently because everything is made out of chemicals anyways. So when you apply liquid foundation I know for sure it has to oxidize because it is something that is cream based and I believe they tend to go a little bit darker after they oxidize with powders I think there is probably something with the powders reacting to the warmth of your face as well where it sort of melts and settles in a little bit definitely if you are trying foundations for the first time it's really important to figure out what your skin type is whether you have oily skin or dry skin or a combination of oily and dry it's good to know what type of skin type you have have beforehand because then it helps narrow down whether or not you should focus on getting either a powder based or a liquid based foundation. It can get a little bit complicated however when you start factoring things like your skin tone into it because skin tones get classified into three sort of general categories as well. This is for skin tone which is something that is different than skin type which is where the entire dry or oily or combination comes from. So for your skin tone there tends to be some sort of under color think of the wording right now. People's skin tones tend to lean towards warm or cool or neutral and they factor that in when making foundations a lot of the time too. So when you go to makeup stores the foundation can be a little bit overwhelming because they'll have options for multiple different shades at multiple different skin temperatures. If you are trying to figure out your foundation for the first time I would recommend going to a more specialty makeup store. Even if you are a guy, if you're doing this for cosplay or anything like that, I think it's the easiest way to figure out what an optimal foundation color would be for you. Hopefully that information was helpful for those of you that don't know anything about foundation. Again, if this video was helpful or you enjoyed it in any sort of way, please give me a thumbs up. And if there is anything you would like to contribute and share with me, my ears are always open. You can always comment down below. Or if there's anything else that you want me to clarify, again, let me know. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.